So, so to, well, Thomas, why don't you just just quickly, just quickly tell yeah. us what we what are we starting now? We're starting a really stupid challenge, which is can we walk across the Norfolk coast for 24 hours non-stop? Yeah. We aren't in the best of shape. We haven't trained for this. I certainly haven't. Have you, George? No. No, I only found out what we were doing in the car on the way here. <laughs> yeah. So realistically, we're not we're not in great health. But we are we're going to be yeah we're going to be continuing to walk for a very very long time, and we are going to be stopping at this time tomorrow. Uh, we're on the Norfolk coastal path, which is which should be providing beautiful scenery. Mm -hmm. And. What else do you want from me, George? That's really? about it, Actually, really. It's pretty simple. Yeah, that was just a bit. That was just give me something a little bit more light-hearted. Something maybe something interesting. <laughs> uh, Norfolk is known as Nelson's County. <laughs> Admiral <laughs> Lord Nelson. <laughs> Oh, and if, please give me something, Johnny. Oh, give me something. No, cut. <laughs> <laughs> Off we go. And therefore, we're decked out with walking trousers and suitable footwear. I'm yeah. not sure about that view. <laughs> My legs are so cold. So Thomas um, organised the route on the car journey here. And um, we stopped half an hour in. We're getting pissed off. It's, it's, it's aggressively rainy. It's aggressively windy. And Thomas has got no idea where we are. Miserable, but awesome at the same time. Ooh. We have been going for about an hour and a half, Johnny. Yeah. Hour and a half. Oh, hang on, before you get into that, we just appreciate Johnny's pasta eating technique here. Incredible. So he files it down. It sort of fills up from the bottom like a trough. Oh, that's lovely. An hour, Very... and th hour and 34. Hour and 34. We're actually cruising. We are cruising. We're you, lo you look so professional in comparison to Thomas. It's actually, it's actually outrageous. It's the trousers, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, let's, just get you, let's just get you front on. Yeah. Sorry. Now, give us the update, please. We are in Thornham, which uh, shows that we've actually been going slightly ahead of where I thought we'd be at this stage. We've been gunning it. Um, Thornham boasts a beautiful pub, the Orange Tree here. Uh, which has a very famous pudding called the Fairground. So, uh, what's that? Well, lots of different ice creams. You've got candy floss, you've got a toffee apple, you've got loads of sweets, um, and a sort of uh, eclair, I think, on, on it as well. Very, very nice pudding. Got a nice local church there. Good. And now we're going to head up here. And how are your legs feeling? Uh, they're fine. Yeah. Johnny, how are your legs feeling? Yeah, I'm feeling fresh. Good. Uh, where are we going? I'm just going to check the map, actually. Thomas is already three hours. Two hours. We're two hours in. We're, we're a twelfth of the way in. You've already got the wrong pants. <laughs> Thomas is changing his like pants. Chris, like Chris, I don't think we're the right call. Well, actually, you were banging on about them at the station. It'll be great to see you take these off, though. This is going to be really great to watch. But I might get up a bit more close and personal here. I actually can't believe you're going to put your pants on now. Yeah. I would have just, I'd just suck it up. No, no, no. I just feel like it's the right call. Such a bizarre scenario to be in. <laughs> it's getting all the angles here. I just want a nice picture of your bare bottom <laughs> in the Norfolk coastline. <laughs> oh goodness gracious! <laughs> you, you literally, you, you literally just pissed all over your own clothes. I actually can't believe how out of place you look right now, Thomas. <laughs> London. <laughs> uh, quick update. So, Eight o'clock on the nose, 
Head torches are out. We're at the point um, now where we're updating our wives to say that we're still alive. So we are heading now down towards the outskirts between Kitchwell and Brancaster. So the sea is at the end of this road. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so there's the sea. Not that you can see anything, but you know. I apologise, we're not being very funny. I just don't feel like we've had the content Peace, yet. peace, you don't need to be funny. I feel the pressure. You don't need to be On funny. On all of your blogs. Like you don't funny. need to be funny, Thomas. It's okay. Boys, mm. eating oh, their pasta. My word, this is good. Priceless pasta. It's priceless pasta. So priceless the pasta. question was, how much would you be willing to give up your pasta feed for? Yeah. And I said 300 quid. So stupid. Ill and four. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> well done. Well done. This is just excellent. Thank you so much. So we've. I'll give the update this time. Yeah. We. Um, I actually didn't get Caroline and Nicholas on camera. Didn't know if they were, but camera shy. But we've got food in our bellies. Oh. Thomas has clean shoes. Yeah, look at these bad boys. They are kind of mildly more appropriate than the first ones. <laughs> new balance I mean, number. I mean, they're, yeah, new. <laughs> I, st <laughs> I, I still don't really feel Sport shoes. that he's um, he's quite got it. <laughs> he's, he's quite got it. At least he's got a waterproof jacket on, which actually looks great. It was, uh, and, and now we're heading into the night. We're heading to our Everest. Yeah, so, this um, is our Everest, boys. This is the big shift. This the is big when shift. we make it count. Nine hours the until... Hard we see anything. Nicholas and Caroline again. Yeah. It's five minutes past midnight. It's rainy. Yeah. It's windy. Yeah. And Thomas's hips hurt. <laughs> Ivy, I don't know if you can hear that or see that. That is really windy. Goodness, these boys loving life over there. Loving life. another sort of bat battering with uh, rain and apparently snow. It seems to be snow, snow on, on the beach. ground, which is a bit confusing. We're about eight hours in, which is a third of the way. <laughs> morale's good. Every time we say morale's good, it starts raining. So. <laughs> yes. Thomas, yeah. Thomas just decided to tell us how great we both are and how easy feels around us. And then God thought it'd be funny <laughs> to tip down rain. <laughs> It wasn't very nice, but we were sanctioned for our possibility. We were sanctioned. <laughs> yeah, yeah, serves us right for enjoying ourselves. So we're we're plowing through. We're near. We're nearly at Holcomb now, and then presumably we'll be taking the wood, the spooky wood, yes, up towards the estate. So that, that'll be it. Stay tuned. Yeah. All right. Having a little stretch of Rooney here. Yeah, that's that feels great. <laughs> right, we're in the first bit of liar civilization. For a while. This is what's this? What is this? Wells next to sea. Wells next to sea. Someone's up late up there. It's about half past two in the morning. You think morale's good? Morale is good, <laughs> which basically means it's about to rain. Every time we say <laughs> actually it's going pretty well, that. it starts raining and <laughs> sleeping. Yeah. Yeah. Well, what about four hours, five hours till oh. breakfast? An odd amount of pain in the uh, area behind Thomas and my knees. Mm. Um, G's holding up all right. Yeah. And we're actually, it's actually flying. We, yeah. we saw Nicholas and Caroline, yeah. what, four hours ago? Give us a challenge. Yeah, easy peasy. No, please stop saying that. <laughs> it's about 3.30 I think in the morning. <laughs> Are you filming this? Yes. <laughs> we started another bench. <laughs> and, uh, oh, delirium. Just carcasses everywhere. Delirium descends. <laughs> we're nearly halfway through, oh, yay. Um, <laughs> We're not even up. <laughs> I keep remembering. <laughs> yeah, spirits are really high at the moment.
Okay then. This is going to sound really fake because we've probably spoken about 10 words in the past two hours. <laughs> but we've just passed halfway or bang on halfway pretty much. Yeah, yeah. We, can see the, we can see the first signs of dawn, but can, it's pretty early. You probably can't really see it on there, but we've, we've now done more than we need to do left, if that makes any sense. Who cares? And uh, That the, feels pretty grim right now, actually. The, the, the sun... For me, the way that I think that... I think we're in this state now. We've had a good portion. We've got we've got real hard grind to go, and I think your theory about 9:30 being a particularly bleak time, we don't have support anymore. I'm just like, oh, this isn't funny. This isn't entertaining. Why am I talking like this? But it's really hard. Well, it's I'm actually to 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 contradict your pessimism. Yeah. I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to be rather optimistic good. and say that I think I was wrong, and yeah. I think this last two hours is, will be will be our most. We'll look back on. And say that was the most challenging part. Yeah, this is the trudge. Well done, Jake. Here we are, it's about 6.15 in the morning. The sun is getting there, nearly see it. We're pretty close to our bacon. Here are the boys, we had a lie down, got the drone up. Not, not very good photos, <laughs> not gonna lie. But that's rather a nice avenue that you can't see. Give money. Uh, for those watching at home, we just finished in pretty bleak stretch of A road, completely empty, between about uh, I don't know, 4 and 6 a.m. I don't think we said a word. <laughs> Amongst the three of us, very, very little was said. But we're out of it. We're at our bacon stop. Well, supposedly. Well done, boys. We made it to bacon. We made it to bacon. It's not here yet. No. Uh, but still. Very good effort. Bacon. Very good effort. It's about 14, great, great 14 great hours. We have been refueled, full to the brim on porridge, porridge, and bacon butties, apples, bananas, uh, all, all, the, all the things. All the good stuff. Feels so good, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. Thomas's headache is no longer existent. Oh, good. Um, Still can't walk. <laughs> yes. Yeah, the problem with the walking <laughs> gate, but apart from that, we're, we're all good. Um, and we're, we're wandering the coast. Don't know how many miles, who cares? Oh, we're in the, we've one. broken the back of it. We're over, well over halfway. <sighs> and uh, here we go. Hopefully a beautiful, beautiful day ahead. coming directly inland to then go along the road oh. and back out to see Johnny what are we doing how are you feeling yeah sort of every step on uneven ground is just like daggers in mind go on keep going gonna be there
getting one update in. It's around lunchtime and we're stopping in a place called Weybourne, stopping off anyway. And uh, we're gonna munch down some food. And then we're on the um, home straight to Sheringham, where we will catch our train back to London. Miserable uh, footing on the beach. Shingle is not very nice. Hey, Thomas. Oh, tough. Okay, final, final push. Final, hi, George. We've had, we, I hope you're well. We've, and, had, uh, we've, had our, we've had our, we've had our final meal. We had a really, really good couple of sandwiches and some, some cheesy chips. Yeah. And now we are on our final couple of miles to get us to Sandringham. Yeah, thanks fans for sort of checking in and uh, really like and subscribing and ah, liking and all that sort of stuff. And it really means a lot to us uh, and I hope this finds you. Well. actually, I think you're in a really good spot to tell us actually about what we're raising money for now. Oh, no, I don't want to train. <laughs> I, I'll be, I'll, right now I'm really cranky and I want, I want to do that at some point. Editor George here, um, coming at you about two weeks after the walk, um, just about recovered. Um, but realise right at this very moment of the video, uh, we never got round to telling you about the charity during our train ride home because Thomas's feet, as you will find out, became blocks of ham and he wasn't in the best state to tell anyone about anything. And so I thought I'd briefly just mention that the charity we were walking for was called uh, the My Name's Dolly Foundation, um, who do the most amazing work tackling motor neurons disease, which is the most horrible disease and um, it can never have enough funding and support. Um, so any uh, penny pound you are able to give would be so much appreciated. Um, they do the most amazing things and it is a charity um, close to all, all our hearts. Um, so that's charity. Um, and uh, yeah, back to the video and Thomas's terrible feat. Honestly, it's been a privilege and a pleasure. Oh, it hasn't been a pleasure actually, it's been a privilege and it's been horrific. <laughs> it's been a horrific privilege. <laughs> if you're wondering why I'm walking like this, this is the maddest speed that we've I can't do any more than this. <laughs> You, you, how did you how did you describe the way your feet are moving earlier? My feet are basically just now like ha blocks of ham. Like they don't move anymore. They just they just slap the ground. They're, they have no no movement in them at all. They're just ham. <laughs> just, oh. <laughs> for, 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 a, for literally like a 50 mile going walk. straight in the bin at home, I tell you. Sketches have let themselves down this time. Oh, there it is. Oh. Team. How does that feel? Good. Let's get there. Let's get over there. Pieces of ham. We are in Sheringham. And there we have it. There we have it. North Norfolk Railway. Sheringham Station. The Thomas Peters, you just said. That's me done. You couldn't have done any more. <laughs> done and dusted. <laughs> just, what's the next one, you know? It's just, it's just beautiful. What a moment. It's always quite anticlimactic, isn't it? Well done. Thank you. 